Greetings to everyone. Welcome to the channel Simtech05. In previous few videos of this playlist, that playlist is uh, Abacus Basic for beginners. We seen the part modeling and massing videos. We also utilize the assembly module to make a complex part. If you not gone through those video, I highly recommend to go through those video of the part modeling, assembly and massing. Then only come to the next video, this video. So in this video, we are not going to run anything. We are not going to model anything. We will just take a overlook on the all modules. The beautiful part in the Abacus that we have a separated module for everything and those are associate, those are linked with each other. Let's say I want to create part. So you have to go in the part module, then you can create part, 2D part, 3D part, solid part, cell part, rigid part. Apart from that, Eulerian domain you can create. You have to just click on create and the definition will be available with you. If you are not aware to this definition, again go to the previous video where I explained everything. I will provide link in the description. So I have here multiple parts like uh, plate and this base rollers and this tool part. Okay. Here I am trying to explain the three point bending component that will look like this so this is my assembly module in assembly it will look like in this way so again i'm not going to switch directly to the assembly first part module and in part module you not only able to create 2d parts and 3d parts but you are able to create the points and lines you are able to create the access system and you are able to split your geometry, trim your geometry. Here we have splitting options. See, those are all are the geometric creation options. Apart from you have here some mirror options or fillet options like you can provide in CAD software. Here also those options are available. There we have some feature suppression options. Then we have splitting options, geometry splitting options. Geometry means solid cell, all you can split like you have here partition options for edges, faces, cells. So it should depend on your requirement. Based on that requirement, you can split like this solid. This solid cylinder is splitted from here, from here. So I split it using these options. Okay, you can utilize those options. Then you can create the access system and point system and planes. Here you have point options, data access options and data options and plane options. And then some advanced geometry editing options. You can utilize just go to this options and you have here geometry editing options if you have any stitching issue means the geometry is not uh, perfectly joined then you can stitch you can repair small gaps and you can merge the multiple surfaces or, or all those things you can perform here it is for edges here it is for face and here we have for part for part the most of the things is uh, automatically so whatever changes you want to make, you need to make it on the faces, then you can convert into solid likewise. So these all definitions are available here in the part modeling. And lastly, we have mid surface extraction options also. Okay. So you can extract the mid surface up to some level, not uh, in that much advanced level like in hypermesh, but up to certain level, you can extract the mid surface. So this is all about the part module. After that, we have property module. In property module, basically we assign the material and better to say, we create the material and assign that material to the different different part. Why this part is not having any material? See, in the property module, whatever part we have that is visible in two color, either in this color or in gray color. Gray color means there is no property and this color is representing the properties assigned to the component sometime red color also visible likewise let's say i'm deleting this place plate property click on delete so red color is available that's mean the property is assigned see previously the property is assigned but due to some error i deleted the assigned property so this red color will be visible to you okay by default this property module having the property default visibility if i click on the part default visibility that's mean we have color 
according to the different different part and if you want to see the color just click on this color dialog and here the basic roller component having some different color likewise this is the basic roller color and different different component having different different color this tool component having some different color likewise so not only the material creation and property assignment you can create the section you can create the layers of composite you can define the direction of the material okay here it is for the composite composite options here it is for the direction material orientation and direction you can extract the skin and stringers so again we have same suppression suppress and uh, generate feature here we have here some line and line and point options and then common splitting options and common uh, this point and axis create and create options and plane create options so these all options are very common in uh, almost every module but important aspect is the property module is to generate material property and assign the material property to the respective component if some component are in 2d then we need to define the thickness to that 2d component if some component are in the 1d means line you have only then you need to assign the cross-sectional area like what cross-sectional area i have i have this box box size cross-sectional area circular cross-sectional area ilt section or so on so this is all about the property module assembly module you already know you can call multiple parts in the assembly and you can arrange them in a specific way like here we have multiple parts three parts we have all having same blue color but if you go to the part see i'm i'm talking about here visibility visibility not per the assembly visibility per the part now the part color will be according to the individual part not according to the assembly now you can identify these two blocks are belongs to same part this plate is belongs to one part and this tool is belongs to one part so if you want to know more about the assembly module i already uploaded video on that i created some advanced uh, structures especially that tower section and uh, some civil uh, type of structure those you can very easily create in the abacus itself so go to the assembly module and uh, you can utilize these options so here we have another options like circular pattern rectangular pattern translate rotate then we have some constraints here we have boolean operation here and again the same common features okay after assembly now we have step module that is very important the step module is represent what type of analysis you want to perform if you go to the step manager you have here one step that name is bending this is only the name okay the procedure the type is general static step after that we have here nl geom that represent non linear geometry if you want to check on this non linearity you have to click on the nl geom and click here and now click on okay so non linear geometry options will be check on what is non linearity that we will discuss in upcoming videos then at last we have time period for that you want to perform the simulation for one second i want to perform this simulation this punch will bend my plate for one second from here to here it may bend and this phenomena will take place in the one second so how to create it go with the create and static step any name you can define and click on continue likewise you can create okay i am going to edit existing one if you want to edit existing one just click on that edit so it asks for description if you want to define any definition of this you can for your understanding point of view only you can define here the time period as i mentioned the event time then non linear geometry you can on or off from here also i am going to off it uh, again re edit then you have stabilization options this also we will discuss in few upcoming videos including heat effect that is also not useful for now uh, we will take some example on that also
what is important important is increment first is total time period total event time and then second is increment here it is saying increment is automatic or fixed so 95 percent or 99 percent time you have to utilize the automatic options that's mean software will decide this increment according to the convergence okay what is convergence uh, let let we will discuss maximum number of increment see when this this component this tool component bend this particular plate from this point to this point it will not bend in the one increment it will bend it in the increment size of 0 0.1 that we defined why we define this increment size 0 0.1 here only why we not define 1 2 5 10 anything else 0 0.001 or so on let's have a look on the same image and uh, let's say we have this uh, uh, plate that we want to bend okay let's assume after the deformation this plate may be likewise okay this plate may be likewise so this is the maximum deformation value this maximum deformation taking time of one second but the problem is whatever the governing equation we have a simple governing equation we are using here f equal to kx and if i try to solve this governing equation directly for the one second you may have large difference in lhs and rhs side and that may not satisfy our tolerance criteria so instead of solving this problem solving this governing equation for one second directly we solve in some small amount of increment let's say it start for 0 0.1 second so the governing equation will solve for 0 0.1 second only likewise instead of complete deformation it will take an initial small deformation for 0 0.1 second then it will take deformation for 0 0.2 second 0 0.3 second and up to one second so each time if the convergence criteria meet if the difference in lhs and rhs is significant low then we say okay my increment first increment is completed for 0 0.1 second now i can move for the next increment of 0 0.1 second so now the total time is for 0 0.2 second similarly once this second iteration is complete then we take a step of 0 0.1 second again and it will be moved likewise so it's mean it taking some number of increment one increment two increment three increment four increment and we have some increment size you can understand likewise you want to move from this point to this point you want to move from this point to this point but instead of this big jump you are taking a small small steps from this point to this point then this point to this point this point to this point this point to this point and so on you are taking a small jump and assume in the small jump or a small step you have less risk see this is the only analogy okay this is nothing to do with the original concept so in this small step you have here one increment second increment third increment four increment fifth and up to 10 increment and this increment size is 0 0.1 when we have very severe problem very complex problem very severe contact condition or material non-linearity then even this step size this 0 0.1 size is very large you may need to go with the 0 0.01 or lesser increment size these are the number of increment and this is the increment size so in this way here uh, this will work the increment size here 0 0.1 you are trying to take if solution is converged again it will take the next increment of 0 0.1 but if solution is not converged then the increment size the jump size that you are taking will reduce and up to what limit it can be reduced it can be reduced up to 1 into e raised to the power minus 5 and if convergence going smooth then it can increase the jump size i am taking the increment size up to 0 0.2 you can take again in the figure let's say the uh, convergence is very smooth so instead of 0 0.1 i can take let's say just initially i took the 
jump of 0.1 and then again 0.1 but my convergence is going very smoothly then I can say okay now I can try to jump of 0.2 second will my solver able to converge this solution if it is yes then again it will take 0.2 second and if it is no then what it will do it will cut down the step size it will make it half of half basically 0.0 0.05 half of half okay half is 0.1 and uh, then again half 0.05 so in this way this will work what maximum number of increment you allow sometime may solution not converge uh, let's say increment size reaches to 0.0001 then to complete the task from 0 to 1 how much increment it will take it will take huge number of increment basically so one step size is this one uh, so up to reach uh, uh, time of one second it will take huge number of increment so i not allow software to take that much of increment because i know if solution is not going converge smoothly then uh, i have to change my boundary condition material condition or solution method so I not allow software to take that much increment or maximum jump that it can take is 100. 100 number of jump it can take and jump size is 0.1. Maximum jump size it can take uh, up to 0.2 and minimum jump size it can take up to 0. Point, or we can say e raised to the power minus 5 whatever. So I think analogy is little bit clear here and at last we have here some other options. Uh, in other options we have again some advanced features advanced options we will not discuss right now here we may talk about those important points in upcoming classes so once you define these parameter again i am repeating in basic you need to define the time step or we can say the event time in how much time the event will take place nonlinear geometry check on or check off we will discuss on that nonlinear geometry in separate video stabilization also we will talk on the separate video maximum number of jump okay is 100 the initial jump size is 0 0.1 the minimum jump size it can take 1 into e raised to the power minus 5 and maximum jump size it can take 0 0.02 to reach from 0 to 1 second why it is 0 to 1 second because here we time period define of 1 second let's say we define time period of 5 seconds now we can say the initial jump size is 0 0.1 and maximum number of jump i am allowing 100 to reach from 0 to 5 second not now for 1 second uh, now it is for 5 second okay so in this way it will work now click on ok then we have here the output options there we have two type of output one is field request and another is history request okay this field request is nothing but a visible result and here the history request are also visible i not mean that those are not visible but i mean those are visible in form of plot graphs and these are visible in form of contour on the object when you click on edit here we have default output request say pre default output request but you can define manually let's say i want to define the context stresses as well as edge to surface pressure then automatically from predefined to selected from list below it will move similarly not only one minus stresses equivalent one minus stresses i want to check i want to check the transfer shear stresses triaxiality i want to check and so on okay so in this way it will work but not mean that all parameter you uh, so requested for the output and all will be visible sometime your analysis is not compatible to give the output request okay so mostly you have to use the pre-selected default if you are beginner so these are my history and field output then we have interaction interaction is something that will tell the components how they will treat with respect to each other see here we have multiple component so how this this base component or this base will treat the plate whether it is frictionless contact whether it is frictional contact where they are rigidly connected to each other where there is any connector between them 
so these all things how the multiple component interact with each other mostly in interaction we have to define those parameters sometime interaction are needed for individual component also let's say here we have a single governing point of all these faces that is called coupling point so you need to define coupling point rigid point rigid body you can define here okay those all parameter you can define apart from these basic point we have some advanced features like a uh, special tool and crack options you can define seam you can define inertia parameters you can define spring and dashboard you can define you also have analytical field options and discrete rigid field options volume fraction tool options also available here so most of the advanced features are available over there in contact definition you have bonding element over there so this is the interaction in few two three example we will not talk about the interaction and then we will start looking on the small small interaction problems so next is load load you know very well load means your boundary conditions so in the boundary condition you need to define the force displacement constraints initial velocity pre stress conditions and again see these these all options are common in all modules see in interaction also we have these common options in force also i mean to say in load module also we have these common options okay so predefined boundary condition constraint condition load condition pressure velocity displacement uh, concentrated force variable load all all you can define over load module we already talk about the part module and uh, massing module in my previous videos and then little bit about the assembly video so i highly recommend to go with these three module then only you are able to understand this step module interaction module load module and everything else so after that once you define the massing you need to go with the job module optimization is not useful right now here but of course it is also one of the important module in the job module you need to define the simulation run it's mean the simulation that you already defined in the step and in the boundary condition how you want to carry on this simulation okay let's say create one job let's say name of job job 3 then define the source here you have model as your source you have multiple models let's say here you have one component as uh, means one assembly for three point bending test one assembly for four point bending test so you may have multiple assemblies in your models here only one model we have model 1 you may have multiple model let me show you this is the only model 1 you may have multiple model so you can define multiple model let's say it is from model 1 model 2 model 3 model 4 or so on this is your source model name and click on continue then the important definition is here parallelization parallelization means uh, number of cores that you want to assign to your simulation let's say four core five core six core you want to assign this cores basically are system dependent let's say my system having just press control shift and escape button task manager and here go to the performance module go to the cpu in cpu i have here eight cores see there are logical process and cores so always define number of cores not number of the logical process i have eight cores in my system so define eight maximum eight cores here over here gpu acceleration if you want to use that's mean the cores of gpu also you want to utilize to run your simulation then you can utilize but for that you need a some extra software that you need to install okay memory type is also important let's say i have some ram in my system uh, you can check over there here i have total yes here i have total 24 gb of available ram almost 7 8 gb ram is used by the system and the total ram is 32 gb so how much percent of the total ram i want to utilize let's say 90% of total ram i want to utilize so 90% of 32 gb i want to utilize or you can restrict it in value 
let's say not not more than 10 gb okay not more than 10 gb this is useful when you running a multiple task in your system or you are working on the server system let's say server having uh, server having ram in tv but you not utilize the all ram because uh, other uh, other candidate also have to use the ram so you can utilize this third option over there uh, let's say not more than 20 gb ram we allow to the run and here we have increase memory based on the system estimation or analysis estimation means when uh, analysis required more ram it can access but if i uncheck this software and your simulation restrict to use only the 10 gb ram other parts also important but we will discuss those things in other videos okay now click on okay then you need to just submit your solution before submission you need to check the data if any input error is there input errors means uh, let's say some missing data property is missing some wrong data you feed it and then it will tell you the error but it will not tell the convergence error okay convergence error you will get only after submission of the job and the monitor is something during the process and after the process you can monitor the simulation how the simulation performed you can see here so here 10 increment are performed for this simulation as as i have told you here in the step just have a look on the step initially it was for one second initially it was for one second okay so now compare it with step see the time period is one second so you can see here the total time total time it will going from 0 0.1 second to one second initial increment size is 0 0.1 and you can see over here initial increment size 0 0.1 sorry initial increment size is 0 0.1 and here it was also 0 0.1 it, the problem is solved for this condition okay so maximum number of increment i allowed 100 but but the solution took only the 10 increment because there is no convergence issue okay if any convergence issue then it will say attempt u okay one u two u means one attempt an attempt two an attempt and in this way it will show so obviously this solution is uh, uh, very easy only in 10 increment completely solved uh, we allowed maximum increment 100 so that's all for this video here i am not solving any problem instead i try to show you the basic concept of the simulation of general static step here in the step module we took only general static step lots of step we have so no need to worry about all those step right now you have to use only the general static step and why we are using general static step in which cases i have to use this step in which cases i cannot use this general static step we will see in the next videos so we just see in the modules here okay so thank you for listening that's all for this video we will meet in the next video.